Hey, what's going on? It's me, your good friend, the good Reverend Cameron Abbott, and I'm back at it again here with you with another episode of Friday Night Dying Light. Uh, if this is your first time checking out our stuff, go ahead and check out our YouTube channel. Uh, we have a bunch of podcasts and other games that we are playing through. Um, playlist to this game right here is going to be on the right-hand side. So if you haven't started yet, go back to episode one and let's go through this journey together. That being said, this is the only Friday Night Lights themed Let's Play series of Dying Light 2. And remember, if you're wondering, hey, Karen, what kind of choices are you going to make? This is our guiding key right here. Our guiding light. Now, I was going to point to the shirt, but I'm wearing the Dylan Panther shirt, not the uh, not the slogan shirt. So, clear eyes, open heart, can't lose. That's what we're here about. That being said, thanks so much uh, for make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. And with that being said, let's hop into things, people. I just really want to get back into it because, uh, you know playing these a bit back to back here real quick we are gonna like sleep till morning because like and why did I fertilize the There we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. I was almost done with it. Suck. Alright, come on. Of course, let's reset it now. Okay. Go. There we go. Here, uh, anything besides the tank or a no, okay, let's over that. Okay, let's go ahead and hop on over here. So, for anybody who's wondering, I guess I should have definitely brought that up in the uh, intro, but we are currently about to hit up at the main story mission, the raid. Uh, helped uh, Sophia and her brother Barney out with uh, some nonsense. Barney sucks, by the way. Um, freaking sociopath sent me to help out. Somebody's like, Oh, I need me to help out my guy, I'm not gonna leave him behind. And it turns out not only would he leave that guy behind, um, but he's also like just an incorrigible piece of garbage who used it as like a uh, like a distraction so he would be able to bring back to crystals that don't actually matter. But people pay stupid amounts of money for. You know, like crystals in real life. Alright, here we go. Up. Hey, Herman. Uh, where's Sophie? Uh, hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess that means I should wait here. Uh -huh. This is a nighttime thing we have to do? Oh, nope, here we go. Another flashback. Oh no, 
No, no, no! It's an item. Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked. And yet I let him lead. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? It wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. It's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable a killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water and more... You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. You think Jack and Joe could have had some... Joe, perhaps. Mm. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. Dude, I do not want to hear Jack from you. You let your men die. He can die. be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Birdie, to your help. I gather you were... He tried to be a poet. Kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no... You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. Now. It's about saving your life. Mm. I'll tear them apart. I swear. I'll gut them. Real slow. Piece by piece. that I can't just like leap up from there. Goddamn coyotes. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. 
First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. Mm. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie, I can handle them. Lucas thought so too. And look how he. Had. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere, with a piece of your hide cut out. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Mm. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. Well, she's right about her that. mother's death. I don't know about that so one. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Be careful. Take care of yourself, Pilgrim. Gosh, I do not like working for the cops, that's for sure. He's anarcho-fascist. Yeah, at the same time, Sophie sucks because she doesn't realize her brother's a piece of garbage. Oh yeah, he was real broken up over Birdie, you know, when he sent me to bond, like, be with him in his last moments. It's time for. It looks like Sophie's not here. I, I, I better look must, for her. Must be Dad. It's still early. Just this one. <sighs> Me and you are the same, only the other way around. Yeah, have you seen Sophie? I'm, I'm looking for. Ah, oh, it's our drink up. Cheers. Sorry, but I don't like drinking straight from the bottle. Ooh, the exalted count asks for a glass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook. Can't ever finish the sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. All right. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling it music? Hey, you mangy pricks! Mm. All right. Barney's coming, and he's gonna kick your dairy ears. That's a weird choice of wording. I'll rip out your brains, then your hearts. Uh, I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business. To if you came to find out if I have a boyfriend... Oh, gosh. I don't. I'm good, thanks. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, Friend. I wasn't. I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind, too. Fine. You take care of... That guy is like a neon sign that reads <laughs> Big Trouble. Right. Then your heart... <sighs> It's better for the world Pilgrim. when you're quiet. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? She went that way. Exact. Thanks. Something's wrong. Uh, that... Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it... Um, sure. Vincenzo. Yeah. Uh, Aiden, how do you become a pilgrim? 
What? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him! Thank you, Alberto. Hello? To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. Because of those fucking tests. Tests? Mm. You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, mm. but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. Not interested. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! <laughs> Bertie! Ralph! To your health! I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. She said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? Um... My stories aren't important right now. Uh, I understand. I don't tell mine, you won't tell yours. Okay? It's not like that. It isn't? Yeah, mine's an old story. It still has more questions without answers. Is that why you became a pilgrim? To find those answers? Because you sure don't look like a criminal. At least not to me. Yeah, well, that's because you don't know me. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. 
The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Wait, where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. Take a look. Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. Well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Bandit camps, let's go, boys. Binoculars to identify entry points, locate camp leader, and identify potential environmental opportunities. Take over the bandit camp. You need to kill the camp leader and his lieutenants, then claim the camp flag tower. You claim the camp, you'll establish a safe zone, and there are additional rewards. Okay. Yeah. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. If anything goes wrong, we retreat. Where? The tango. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah. 
Change of plans, Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. Couldn't hear you over the sound of your decaying corpse. I've got you now. Ooh, ouch. Coming for you. <laughs> Choke on this, you fucker. Get wrecked.
wait now. What's going on here? The hell? Ain't gonna... Oh, shoot. I'm dead. Um... Respawn our last story point. Let's try that. Okay. okay, so I killed lieutenants. Just keeping that. But I start over here. Did I discover that? Excellent. <clears throat> All these guys are already dead over here. Get wrecked, son. What a wonderful. Where's this thing that I was supposed to like light on fire or something? Ooh. Okay. This. There we go. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the Maiden. Where's Jack and Joe? They fled the camp as soon as they heard the sound of fighting. I don't know what they're planning. They said they were waiting on backup. What backup? I don't know exactly. Joe was talking about the renegades. Remnants of the old army, mm. stationed on the dam across town. Lately, they've been spotted at the bazaar. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run! Fast! 
now. No time to waste. How dare they close the passage to the center? We are free. Finally, someone showed us. Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck you. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. I have to go, Hakon. I promise to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. Inhibitor container nearby. Besides, we'd be missing out on great opportunities for loot. Sophie! Barney! You there? Sophie? Sophie, report in. Here we go. A weapon and a flower. Let's go. All right. Well, looks like I can't. Keepers really did. Oh, big balls. Well, let's try climbing. Dude, I hate this. Okay. Here we go. going on report in
ahead. And there's the ladder. Put that down so I don't have to do this again. Here we go. In this one. Here we go. What do I want? Not really. Hmm. Bar jump. This is what I want. Ball run. This is Aiden. Your men are dead. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it, Aiden. I was actually starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. Helped Aitor and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? But Barney! Barty, wait! Oh, great. Let's see, do this. With Barney! 
well looks like that's wrapping up our current episode of Friday Night Dying Light that was a pretty intense episode we did a raid tried to save uh, Barney and Sophia and now we got uh, got Barney thinking that we weren't helping him really which we weren't because Barney sucks he's a piece of garbage sociopath who gets drunk saying my friends oh, even though you sent me off to find a dying kid you piece of garbage I can't wait to, like, I saw the bat on him. I can't wait to kill him and take it from him. Uh, that being said, thanks so much for watching this episode of Friday Night Dying Light. Uh, if you want to check out anything else that we've done, or if this was your first time watching this episode, uh, this series, go ahead and check out the playlist to the right side, which, come on, start from the beginning. Um, know what's going on, folks. Also, if you want, you can go ahead and check out our other podcasts. Basically, anything else we do is right here on our YouTube channel. Once again, the YouTube initiative of 2021 is continuing to 2022. So, of course, we have that Bond show, which is an exclusive series. We have Trevor's Let's Plays, as well as all of our podcasts are there with a video format. Um, go ahead and check those out. Um, if you want to check out any of our written stuff, that nerdysite.com. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, that's at RevCabot. That's R-E-V-C-A-B-B-O-T-T. -T. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And as always, stay nerdy and be good to each other.